OECD, Wikipedia article audio. The Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development is an intergovernmental economic organization with 35 member countries, founded in 1961 to stimulate economic progress and world trade. It is a form of countries describing themselves as committed to democracy and the market economy, providing a platform to compare policy experiences, seeking answers to common problems, identify good practices and coordinate domestic and international policies of its members. Most OECD members are high-income economies with a very high human development index and are regarded as developed countries. OECD is an official United Nations observer. History Organization for European Economic Cooperation Founding Enlargement to Central Europe Reform and Further Enlargement Objectives and Activities AIM International Investments and Multinational Enterprises PISA Taxation FATF Blacklist Publishing Books Magazine Statistics Working Papers Reference Works Structure Meetings Secretariat Secretaries General Committees Special Bodies and Entities Member Countries Current Members Former Members In 1948, the OECD originated as the Organization for European Economic Cooperation led by Robert Marjolin of France, to help administer the Marshall Plan this would be achieved by allocating United States financial aid and implementing economic programs for the reconstruction of Europe after World War II. Countries currently in accession talks Relations with non-members In 1961 the OEEC was reformed into the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development by the Convention on the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development and membership was extended to non-European states. Criticism Indicators The OECD's headquarters are at the Château de la Mouette in Paris, France. The OECD is funded by contributions from member states at varying rates, and had a total budget of €363 million Euros in 2015. The Organization for European Economic Cooperation was formed in 1948 to administer American and Canadian aid in the framework of the Marshall Plan for the Reconstruction of Europe after World War II. It started its operations on April 16, 1948, and originated from the work done by the Committee of European Economic Cooperation in 1947 in preparation for the Marshall Plan. Since 1949, it was headquartered in the Château de la Mouette in Paris, France. After the Marshall Plan ended, the OEEC focused on economic issues. In the 1950s, the OEEC provided the framework for negotiations aimed at determining conditions for setting up a European free trade area, to bring the European Economic Community of the six and the other OEEC members together on a multilateral basis. In 1958, a European nuclear energy agency was set up under the OEEC. By the end of the 1950s, with the job of rebuilding Europe effectively done, some leading countries felt that the OEEC had outlived its purpose, but could be adapted to fulfill a more global mission. It would be a hard-fought task, 
and after several sometimes fractious meetings at the Hotel Majestic in Paris starting in January 1960, a resolution was reached to create a body that would deal not only with European and Atlantic economic issues, but devise policies to assist less developed countries. This reconstituted organization would bring the US and Canada, who were already OEEC observers, on board as full members. It would also set to work straight away on bringing in Japan. Following the 1957 Rome Treaties to launch the European Economic Community, the Convention on the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development was drawn up to reform the OEEC. The convention was signed in December 1960 and the OECD officially superseded the OEEC in September 1961. It consisted of the European founder countries of the OEEC plus the United States and Canada, with Japan joining three years later. The official founding members are During the next 12 years Japan, Finland, Australia and New Zealand also joined the organization. Yugoslavia had observer status in the organization starting with the establishment of the OECD until its dissolution as a country. The OECD created agencies such as the OECD Development Center, International Energy Agency, and Financial Action Task Force on Money Laundering. Unlike the organizations of the United Nations system, OECD uses the spelling organization with an S in its name rather than organization. In 1989, after the revolutions of 1989, the OECD started to assist countries in Central Europe to prepare market economy reforms. In 1990, the Centre for Cooperation with European Economies in Transition was established, and in 1991, the program Partners in Transition was launched for the benefit of Czechoslovakia, Hungary and Poland. This program also included a membership option for these countries. As a result of this, Poland, Hungary, the Czech Republic and Slovakia, as well as Mexico and South Korea became members of the OECD between 1994 and 2000. In the 1990s, a number of European countries, now members of the European Union, expressed their willingness to join the organization. In 1995, Cyprus applied for membership, but, according to the Cypriot government, it was vetoed by Turkey. In 1996, Estonia, Latvia, and Lithuania signed a joint declaration expressing willingness to become full members of the OECD. Slovenia also applied for membership that same year. In 2005, Malta applied to join the organization. The EU is lobbying for admission of all EU member states. Romania reaffirmed in 2012 its intention to become a member of the organization through the letter addressed by the Romanian Prime Minister Victor Ponta to OECD Secretary General Jose Angel Guria. In September 2012, the government of Bulgaria confirmed it will apply for full membership before the OECD Secretariat. In 2003, the OECD established a working group headed by Japan's ambassador to the OECD Siakairo Noboru to work out a strategy for the enlargement and cooperation with non-members. The working group proposed that the selection of candidate countries to be based on four criteria, like-mindedness, significant player, mutual benefit and global considerations. The working group's recommendations were presented at the OECD Ministerial Council meeting on 13 and May 14, 2004. Based on these recommendations work, 
the meeting adopted an agreement on operationalization of the proposed guidelines and on the drafting of a list of countries suitable as potential candidates for membership. As a result of this work, on May 16, 2007, the OECD Ministerial Council decided to open accession discussions with Chile, Estonia, Israel, Russia and Slovenia and to strengthen cooperation with Brazil, China, India, Indonesia and South Africa through a process of enhanced engagement. Chile, Slovenia, Israel, and Estonia all became members in 2010. In 2011, President Juan Manuel Santos of Colombia expressed the country's willingness to join the organization during a speech at the OECD headquarters. In 2013, the OECD decided to open membership talks with Colombia and Latvia. It also announced its intention to open talks with Costa Rica and Lithuania in 2015. Latvia became a full member on July 1, 2016. Other countries that have expressed interest in OECD membership are Argentina, Peru, Malaysia, and Brazil. In March 2014, the OECD halted membership talks with Russia in response to its role in the 2014 Crimean crisis. On January 19, 2017, during his visit to the World Economic Forum in Davos, Croatian Prime Minister Andrei Plenković stated that Croatia wants to be part of a new wave of OECD enlargement adding that it would give more legitimacy to Croatia especially in regards to the international investors. The OECD defines itself as a forum of countries committed to democracy and the market economy, providing a setting to compare policy experiences, seek answers to common problems, identify good practices, and coordinate domestic and international policies. Its mandate covers economic, environmental, and social issues. The organization works through consensus to develop policy recommendations and other soft law instruments to encourage policy reform in member countries. Occasionally, these instruments do lead to binding treaties. While many of the organization's legal instruments are non-binding, a rigorous peer review process helps ensure that members live up to their commitments. In this work, the OECD cooperates with businesses, with trade unions and with other representatives of civil society. Collaboration at the OECD regarding taxation, for example, has fostered the growth of a global web of bilateral tax treaties. The OECD promotes policies designed Between 1995 and 1998, the OECD designed the Multilateral Agreement on Investment, which was abandoned because of a widespread criticism from civil society groups and developing countries. In 1976, the OECD adopted the Declaration on International Investment and Multinational Enterprises which includes policy recommendations in four areas, multinational enterprises, national treatment, conflicting requirements, and international investment incentives and disincentives. The decision has been revised several times. The most recent review in 2011 updated the OECD guidelines for multinational enterprises. Another investment-related instrument from the OECD is the Policy Framework for Investment, which looks across 12 dimensions to provide policy recommendations for improving a country's investment climate. The Policy Framework for Investment was updated in 2015 under the CO chairmanship of Finland and Myanmar. Among other areas, the OECD has taken a role in coordinating international action on corruption and bribery, creating the OECD Anti-Bribery Convention, which came into effect in February 1999.
it has been ratified by 43 countries, including all OECD members plus Argentina, Brazil, Bulgaria, Colombia, Costa Rica, Lithuania, Russia, and South Africa. The OECD has also constituted an anti-spam task force, which submitted a detailed report, with several background papers on spam problems in developing countries, best practices for ISPs, email marketers, etc., appended. It works on the information economy and the future of the Internet economy. The OECD administers and publishes the Program for International Student Assessment, which is a regular assessment of the attainment of 15-year-olds in three areas of knowledge, which, it is said, allows the performance of educational systems to be examined and compared on a common measure across countries. The OECD publishes and updates a model tax convention that serves as a template for bilateral negotiations regarding tax coordination and cooperation. This model is accompanied by a set of commentaries that reflect OECD-level interpretation of the content of the model convention provisions. In general, this model allocates the primary right to tax to the country from which capital investment originates rather than the country in which the investment is made. As a result, it is most effective as between two countries with reciprocal investment flows, but can be very unbalanced when one of the signatory countries is economically weaker than the other. Since 1998, the OECD has led a charge against harmful tax practices, principally targeting the activities of tax havens. These efforts have been met with mixed reaction, the primary objection is the sanctity of tax policy as a matter of sovereign entitlement. The OECD maintains a blacklist of countries it considers uncooperative in the drive for transparency of tax affairs and the effective exchange of information, officially called the List of Uncooperative Tax Havens. In May 2009, all remaining countries were removed from the list. On October 22, 2008, at an OECD meeting in Paris, 17 countries led by France and Germany decided to draw up a new blacklist of tax havens. The OECD has been asked to investigate around 40 new tax havens in the world where undeclared revenue is hidden and that host many of the non-regulated hedge funds that have come under fire during the 2008 financial crisis. Germany France and other countries called on the OECD to specifically add Switzerland to a blacklist of countries that encourage tax fraud. On October 29, 2014, in Berlin, during the Global Forum on Transparency and Exchange of Information for Tax Purposes, all OECD and G20 countries, as well as most major international financial centers, signed a multilateral competent authority agreement that will activate the automatic sharing of financial data for tax purposes. Under the Foreign Account Tax Compliance Act, the United States will automatically exchange information with other countries beginning in 2015. In 2017, 58 jurisdictions of the early adopters the UK, Spain, France, Portugal, Cyprus, Malta, Germany, Italy, Isle of Man, Jersey, Guernsey, Gibraltar, Bermuda, Cayman Islands, British Virgin Islands, Ireland, Iceland, Liechtenstein, Luxembourg, San Marino, Seychelles, Argentina, and South Africa start to share information automatically. In 2018, another 35 jurisdictions, including Australia, Austria, Bahamas, Brazil, Brunei, Canada, China, Hong Kong, Monaco, Qatar, Russia, Singapore, United Arab Emirates, 
and Switzerland begin sharing information. The FATF blacklist or OECD blacklist was the common shorthand description for the Financial Action Task Force list of non-cooperative countries or territories issued since 2000, which it perceived to be non-cooperative in the global fight against money laundering and terrorist financing. The OECD publishes books, reports, statistics, working papers, and reference materials. All titles and databases published since 1998 can be accessed via Duct OECD I Library. To achieve the highest sustainable economic growth and employment and a rising standard of living in member countries, while maintaining financial stability, and thus to contribute to the development of the world economy, to contribute to sound economic expansion in member as well as non-member countries in the process of economic development, and, to contribute to the expansion of world trade on a multilateral, non-discriminatory basis in accordance with international obligations. Notes The OECD Economic Outlook published twice a year. It contains forecast and analysis of the economic situation of the OECD member countries, the main economic indicators, published monthly. It contains a large selection of timely statistical indicators, the OECD Factbook, published yearly and available online, as an iPhone app and in print. The Factbook contains more than 100 economic, environmental, and social indicators, each presented with a clear definition, tables, and graphs. The Factbook mainly focuses on the statistics of its member countries and sometimes other major additional countries. It is freely accessible online and delivers all the data in Excel format via Statlinks. The OECD Communications Outlook and the OECD Internet Economy Outlook, which rotate every year. They contain forecasts and analysis of the communications and information technology industries in OECD member countries and non member economies. In 2007, the OECD published Human Capital How What You Know Shapes Your Life the first book in the OECD Insights series. This series uses OECD analysis and data to introduce important social and economic issues to non-specialist readers. Other books in the series cover sustainable development, international trade, and international migration. As interactive databases on iLibrary together with key comparative and country tables, as static files or dynamic database views on the OECD statistics portal, as stat links. The OECD member countries, each represented by a delegation led by an ambassador. Together, they form the OECD Council. Member countries act collectively through Council to provide direction and guidance to the work of organization, the OECD Substantive Committees, one for each work area of the OECD, plus their variety of subsidiary bodies. Committee members are typically subject matter experts from member and non-member governments. The committees oversee all the work on each theme. Committee members then relay the conclusions to their capitals, the OECD Secretariat, led by the Secretary General provides support to standing and substantive committees. It is organized into directorates, which include about 2,500 staff. The yearly ministerial council meeting, with the ministers of economy of all member countries and the candidates for enhanced engagement among the countries, the annual OECD forum, which brings together leaders from business, government, labor, civil society, and international organizations. Held every year since June 2000, the OECD Forum takes the form of conferences and discussions, is open to public participation and is held in conjunction with the MCM, thematic ministerial meetings, 
held among ministers of a given domain, the Biannual World Forum on Statistics, Knowledge and Policies, which does not usually take place in the OECD. This series of meetings has the ambition to measure and foster progress in societies, OECD Eurasia Week which includes several high-level policy dialogue discussions to share best practices and experiences in addressing common development and economic challenges in Eurasia. Center for Entrepreneurship, Small and Medium Enterprises and Local Development, Center for Tax Policy and Administration, Development Cooperation Directorate, Directorate for Education and Skills, Directorate for Employment, Labor and Social Affairs, Directorate for Financial and Enterprise Affairs, Directorate for Science, Technology and Innovation, Economics Department, Environment Directorate, Public Governance Directorate, Statistics Directorate, Trade and Agriculture Directorate, General Secretariat, Executive Directorate, Public Affairs and Communication Directorate. The OECD Library and Archives collection dates from 1947, including records from the Committee for European Economic Cooperation and the Organization for European Economic Cooperation, predecessors of today's OECD. External researchers can consult OECD publications and archival material on the OECD premises by appointment. The OECD releases between 300 and 500 books each year. The publications are updated accordingly to the OECD i-Library. Most books are published in English and French. The OECD flagship titles include all OECD books are available on the OECD i-Library, the online bookshop or OECD Library and Archives. OECD Observer, an award-winning magazine launched in 1962. The magazine appeared six times a year until 2010, and became quarterly in 2011 with the introduction of the OECD Yearbook launched for the 50th anniversary of the organization. The online and mobile editions are updated regularly. News, analysis, reviews, commentaries and data on global economic, social and environmental challenges. Contains listing of the latest OECD books, plus ordering information. An OECD Observer crossword was introduced in Q2 2013. The OECD is known as a statistical agency, as it publishes comparable statistics on a wide number of subjects. OECD statistics are available in several forms. There are 15 working papers series published by the various directorates of the OECD Secretariat. They are available on iLibrary, as well as on many specialized portals. The OECD is responsible for the OECD Guidelines for the Testing of Chemicals, a continuously updated document that is a de facto standard. It has published the OECD Environmental Outlook to 2030 which shows that tackling the key environmental problems we face today including climate change, biodiversity loss, water scarcity and the health impacts of pollution is both achievable and affordable. The OECD's structure consists of three main elements. Delegates from the member countries attend committees and other meetings. Former Deputy Secretary General Pierre Vinda estimated in 1997 that the cost borne by the member countries, such as sending their officials to OECD meetings and maintaining permanent delegations, is equivalent to the cost of running the Secretariat. This ratio is unique among intergovernmental organizations. In other words, the OECD is more a persistent forum or network of officials and experts than an administration. 
The OECD regularly holds minister-level meetings and forums as platforms for a discussion on a broad spectrum of thematic issues relevant to the OECD Charter, members, and non-member states. Noteworthy meetings include Exchanges between OECD governments benefit from the information, analysis, and preparation of the OECD Secretariat. The Secretariat collects data, monitors trends and analyses and forecasts economic developments. Under the direction and guidance of member governments, it also researches social changes or evolving patterns in trade, environment, education, agriculture, technology, taxation, and other areas. The Secretariat is organized in directorates. The work of the Secretariat is financed from the OECD's annual budget, which was €374 million Euros in 2017. This includes a core Part I budget funded by all members and a Part II budget for programs of more limited interest to members. The budget is funded by the member countries based on a formula related to the size of each member's gross national product. The largest contributor is the United States, which contributes about one-fifth of the budget, followed by Japan with 9.4%, Germany with 7.4% and the UK and France with around 5.5%. The OECD Governing Council sets the budget and scope of work on a biennial basis. As an international organization the terms of employment of the OECD Secretariat staff are not governed by the laws of the country in which their offices are located. Agreements with the host country safeguard the organization's impartiality with regard to the host and member countries. Hiring and firing practices, working hours and environment, holiday time, pension plans, health insurance and life insurance, salaries, expatriation benefits, and general conditions of employment are managed according to rules and regulations associated with the OECD. In order to maintain working conditions that are similar to similarly structured organizations, the OECD participates as an independent organization in the system of coordinated European organizations, whose other members include NATO, the European Union and the European Patent Organization. See Source Representatives of the 35 OECD member countries and a number of observer countries meet in specialized committees on specific policy areas, such as economics, trade, science, employment, education, or financial markets. There are about 200 committees, working groups, and expert groups. Committees discuss policies and review progress in the given policy area. There are currently 35 members of the OECD. The list includes 22 of the 28 European Union member states. The EU states not in the OECD are Bulgaria, Croatia, Cyprus, Lithuania, Malta, and Romania. The European Commission participates in the work of the OECD alongside the EU member states. Currently, 25 non-members participate as regular observers or full participants in OECD committees. About 50 non-members are engaged in OECD working parties, schemes or programs. The OECD conducts a policy dialogue and capacity building activities with non-members to share their views on best policy practices and to bear on OECD's policy debate. The OECD's Global Relations Secretariat develops and oversees the strategic orientations of the relations with non-members. On May 16, 2007, the OECD Ministerial Council decided to strengthen OECD's cooperation with Brazil, China, India, Indonesia, and South Africa, through a process of enhanced engagement. The countries listed are key partners to the OECD.
the countries contribute to the OECD's work in a sustained and comprehensive manner by direct and active participation in substantive bodies of the organization determined by mutual interest. On May 30, 2017, Brazil formalized a request to join the organization. The OECD explores the possibilities for enhanced cooperation with selected countries and regions of strategic interest to the OECD, giving priority to Southeast Asia with a view to identifying countries for possible membership. It has country programs with Kazakhstan, Morocco, Peru, and Thailand. The OECD has been criticized by several civil society groups and developing countries. The main criticism has been the narrowness of the OECD because of its limited membership to a select few rich nations. In 1997-1998, the draft multilateral agreement on investment was heavily criticized by several non-governmental organizations and developing countries. Many critics argued that the agreement would threaten protection of human rights, labor, and environmental standards, and the least developed countries. A particular concern was that the Maya would result in a race to the bottom among countries willing to lower their labor and environmental standards to attract foreign investment. Also the OECD's actions against competitive tax practices has raised criticism. The primary objection is the sanctity of tax policy as a matter of sovereign entitlement. The following table shows various data for OECD member states, including area, population, economic output and income inequality, as well as various composite indices, including human development, viability of the state, rule of law, perception of corruption, economic freedom, state of peace, freedom of the press and democratic level.